EV Revolution Show is supported in part by Budget Safe Solar. If you are considering solar in most any part of North America, give my friends a call. They will take the time to listen to your specific situation and help you reach a decision about what's available to you and what makes the most sense. If you would like to join the growing solar industry, they'd like to speak with you. Go to www.budgetsafesolar.com to contact them. Well, hello and welcome to this edition of my Tesla Timeout series. Now, today I'm doing something really special. Uh, I want to first thank um, uh, Matt over at uh, Tech Forum Products for sending me this Atlas mount for the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. Um, uh, one thing I've always wanted to do is be able to move this uh, the landscape screen here on the Model 3, and there are different kits that are available that are out there. Most of them you'll see on Amazon and other sites that are made in China. And they're, they're kits that are basically copying what Matt has done in his company. He spent the last couple of years building and developing various mounts available for Tesla to do it safely and properly. And the Atlas mount is their new mount for uh, the three and the Y screens. Um, basically looks like this, if you can see that, okay. Um, it's, a, it's a generation three, next generation mount, which has both a side to side and an up and down pivot. Now, I, I really only want the side to side because I would like the screen to face me a little bit more because I'm 90% of the time I'm the one in the car driving. So I've been looking for these mounts for quite some time. Now, I want to first say that a couple disclaimers. First, now Matt sent this to me on promotion to be able to do the install. I still have to pay for some duties and taxes, um, but he sent me the mount. Uh, it's a high quality mount and I would encourage you to watch the installation video. I'm not going to show the, the entire installation here because Matt's done a very thorough job. So I would encourage you to watch that and I'll have a link in the show notes for the installation. But the, the cool thing about this product is that it's been highly engineered out of aircraft grade aluminum and all that good stuff. <clears throat> but when I compare this to some of the other mounts that are on the market, now I, again, full disclosure, I was sent another mount a couple of months ago by another a company that uh, sends me stuff from time to time. They sent it to me for free. And after watching some videos about what Matt has done in his mount, I decided to send that other mount back. So these are the ones that you'll see on Amazon or other Tesla sites that sell screen swivel mounts. You'll see that mount and they all look the same. They're all basically in China, made in China and they're kind of copies of what Matt has done. But Matt has done something very unique and the key here is that he has a strain relief uh, for the cable because you'll hear stories and you hear fears and concerns about the cable that the screen plugs into that over time with moving the screen it could break that connection from the cable to the screen and it's an expensive repair to get a new screen because it will break from the screen that connection so matt has designed this so that the, the cable fits in here and then you'll see on his installation video he shows you quite clearly and how when you're moving the screen that the cable is not being stressed out and that's the key element to this mount why it makes it different and why it makes it special versus all the other mounts on there. I haven't seen another one that has anything similar to this. So I know that they can cost quite less, but when you're looking at something that could easily turn into a very expensive repair if this thing breaks over time, you want to spend a little extra money and get the best thing. Now, I'm also gonna show you another tip. Um, once I uh, start uh, doing the install, uh, again, I'm not going to film the entire installation. I'm going to uh, tell you to reference Matt's comprehensive video, but I am going to show you another little trick that a viewer or that a commenter uh, had suggested, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you that so that it will take the fear of the installation away because there is that fear about unplugging the cable and w having to wiggle it, and you know there's lots of disclaimers on the paperwork that Matt sends you on the website that. You install this at your own risk. There's no, there's no pushing back on any of the manufacturers. They're all the same and I get it. So I'm gonna show you something that might, hopefully that should ease your fears because it certainly eased mine. So again, I wanna thank Matt at Tech Forum Products. I'm going to put all the links in the show notes. Uh, and But let me start the installation process. I'll show you a quick trick about averting some of those fears and then we'll get to the finished product and you'll see what it looks like. Okay, so hopefully um, I'm just stopping the installation because what I wanted to do is the, the fear part. So a lot of people are afraid to unplug the cable that's back here because you could break the connector. And again, that's an expensive connector. So what somebody had said is just cut the plastic shroud off. That way you don't have to um, remove the connector. 
just cut the plastic shroud because we're not going to use it. Matt supplies another cover for his hinge mechanism. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm not sure if this is going to come out on camera okay, but here's the plastic shroud. So I'm just going to cut a line here, a thin line across here with these scissors, and I'm going to manipulate it and bend it around the cable so I don't have to unplug this cable and mess around with that. And that's going to take the fear, I think, out of this install because that's the most problematic part of this install is if you don't take that connector right or put it back in right, people are afraid of the damage. So I wanted to tell you, get a nice pair of, of scissors of some sort, or I have some nice shears here that can cut different things. Cut the plastic, take it off. You don't have to unplug the cable at all. It'll be able to work around. All right, so just to show you again, I've taken this shroud off and I cut it here. Just a thin line here so I could get it out of the back. And then of course the cable goes through this mechanism here. So I just cut a thin line here, as you can see, so it opens it up. That way, for some reason, if I did want to use this, it's still reusable because this part is all underneath. You don't see this. This is all underneath the car anyway. So cut it there, cut it there, easy to manipulate around the cable. And the cable is still on the screen. I don't have to mess with it. All right, so I'm all done the installation now. Again, take your time, follow the installation instructions. It's a lot of contortionist work to try to get there and get it done, but just take your time and you'll get it done. Make sure that this is pushed all the way in so that when you tighten the screws, it's nice and straight. Uh, it's level here and that you have a nice uh, a workspace here to look at. So it's all done. Very happy with the install. Again, just took some time. I'm not a skinny guy, so I've got to meander my way around here to try to install it, but uh, everything looks good. Uh, obviously, it doesn't hit the sides, tilts way down and tilts way up, so I can find a nice angle for me and uh, tilt it towards me and make it nice and easier. I really, really like it. Now, one thing people are going to ask, what about this? It still opens up and still put your phone in there to charge. Now, what the heck? All right, so just wanted to uh, give you a perspective from a driver's point of view. Uh, this is where my eye line is. And um, as you can see, so the, uh, I have a correction. The screen is down about 1.5, 1.6 inches from what it was. It's about that much, I guess, uh, than before. So it used to come up a little bit more towards the dash from my eyesight. And, um, it, you know, it, it really um, it's, <laughs> functions the same way. Uh, what I immediately notice is that because the screen is a little closer to me, it's much easier to access the controls. I don't have to stretch and reach a little farther than I that I did before. Um, I don't have long arms, so I have to reach and do this kind of stuff. Um, and I find that, you know, tilted towards me, it's just I can have my arm resting here and I can just touch... Uh, touch uh, the, the stuff that I need um, access to. So it's really um, a, a nice system. Um, you know, again, the speedometer shows up here. So it's virtually basically where it was before. There's not really a big change. It's just a slightly lower. And um, this is the eye line look. And, you know, it actually opens up the front even more. That, that little bit of a drop just gives the appearance of more space, more uh, visibility from the front, as you can see here. So I'm really liking that. Um, <clears throat> I love the flexibility of the, the tilt and swivel. I uh, can have it at the right angle for myself, have it at a nice closer distance. Um, works excellently. It doesn't, uh, doesn't move around. Um, it's uh, nice and firm. And uh, I think Matt and, and his team did a great job in this redesign of the Atlas mount. And um, yeah, just wanted to show you what it looks like here from the, from the driver's perspective. Yeah. Um, definitely doesn't I don't really notice much of a difference I can see that it's a little bit lower compared to where it was but obviously I'm fine with that I really wanted the angle towards me that's kind of the main thing I have an anti-glare screen already on here protector that I got right away so I'm not going to be worried about that so anyway it's done it looks really good I'll uh, see how this goes for a while but I want to thank Mike for sending this to me and again if you're interested check out the show notes I'll have the link for everything there's a couple of instruction videos but I'll put it in the show notes so you'll be able to watch it because he doesn't use the plastic or the, uh, the shroud anymore. He uses the uh, plastic pieces, so there's a little bit different way to put those on. Looks nice. I think it looks really nice and uh, really happy with the job. So, again, and thank you for watching this edition of Tesla Timeout. Everybody take care, and I'll see you when I see you at the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Spring through New York City, like in my 
dreams with you, you're pretty. I wanna fly alone in New York City. When scheming light in New York City, awakening it is falling, dreaded heart. Be sure to stay and stay at heart. Bites down, down that hard and night fly. Central hero shining silver beats a lullaby. Up down from New York City. 